God's anointing isn't optional. It feels like it is because it's so rare today. Many people don't see the seriousness of it. But when we look in the word of God, it says that these signs shall follow all those who believe. They will heal the sick. They will cast out demons. When we look at the Acts church, we see miracles happening constantly. Everyone who was coming to the church, they were, they were being healed and all demons were going. When we look in the word of God, we can see this is really God's will for his church to have his power to heal and deliver people. It's not good enough for just to see someone recite and say a prayer after me. That's not good enough in God's eyes. The church needs to carry God's power and demonstrate the power of God so God can move through the vessel and touch the people and the eyes can open up to God's love and a real salvation can happen. God is not okay with his children staying in bondage and being sick. God wants to heal and deliver all of his people, but he chooses to use vessels. And so if the vessels aren't saying yes, then he can't do it because this is his way. He doesn't go against his word. And so it's not okay anymore. Now that revival's here, now that our eyes have opened, it's not okay anymore for the people to not be healed and delivered and God's power to move. This is the narrow way, the acceptance of his anointing in the church, moving through vessels, the necessity of healing and deliverance, the necessity, the must of it.